Hey guys, it's Greg. We're down here on the Gulf Coast today. There's the Gulf of Mexico back there. Let's go take a look see what's in the fridge today, guys. All right, guys, we're back here. We decided to stay around and do a couple more reviews while we were here. Now we're going to step on. This is the uh, Lustful Maiden Belgian Double. The description is this is an unfiltered Lustful Maiden. Displays a deep chestnut color. I'll agree with that. With a creamy head. And it did have a nice creamy head, but it's dissipated since we could come out here outside. Says that she is a dirty girl with a rich and full body with notes of malt, caramel, roasted almonds, toffee, and honey with a hint of lingering hot bitterness on the finish. Very nice looking beer, very deep, like a deep red, reddish amber color. It's got a, got a cloudy appearance to it. Very good looking beer in the glass. Let's get a nose on this one. Definitely can tell the Belgian yeast right off the bat. It definitely has the Belgian grapefruity yeast going on with this beer. Very sweet smelling on the nose. It smells like there's a lot going on with this beer. Well, let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Very nice. Very sweet. Fairly easy drinking for a big beer. With the Belgian yeast, I mean, I'm actually getting some banana in there too. Grapefruit and banana. Kind of citrusy. Heavy malt. Very tasty. Very tasty. Definitely a winner, guys. This is, this is an awesome beer. Doug and Lee Jones do an awesome job here, guys. If you're in the vicinity of Forest Lynchburg, these beers are available in select restaurants. Hopefully, they'll be able to start canning this stuff by the end of the year. And it'll be available for distribution at other places. But maybe they'll ship some of that stuff out across the country and stuff. So we're going to sip on this for a little while and come back and do the final chug. So. Stick around. I'll be right back. <coughs> Alright guys, we're back. Got just a little bit left of the Belgian here. This is their Belgian Double, or Dubel, whatever you want to call it. It is an unfiltered, lustful maiden displays a deep chest of color, and it does. It is a deep, reddish brown color. Very tasty. I'm getting banana, grapefruit. Definitely really tell the Belgian influence oh, on right this on beer. It is, <laughs> it's got all the Belgian qualities of the, the grapefruit, the banana, the lighter fruit, the mango, uh, maybe a little bit of uh, oranges and pears and apples. So uh, let's see the final chug here, guys. Wow, that's an awesome beer. Very tasty. Guys, I'm going to give this beer an 8, which is an A- minus on the scale today. It is not produced in bottles or cans yet. Hopefully by the end of the year they will have this in cans and bottles where it can be distributed. We'll be shipping some of this stuff out to other people, let them try it. Doug and uh, Lee Johns have got a good thing going on here. They are making some really good quality beers. So if you're in the vicinity of Forest or Lynchburg, Virginia, they have select restaurants that are getting their beers and you can try it there. Otherwise, we gotta wait until they put it in cans and bottles unless you come by the brew pub here in Forest, Virginia and give them a try. So, very tasty beers. Definitely worth stopping by and uh, giving it a try. So, if you're in this vicinity or you're from this vicinity and you've tried these beers before, give me some comments back on this one whether you liked it, didn't like it, best thing you ever had, could stand it. As always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe. And let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow.